Welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to talk about fans that either don't start or they start real slow. Uh, sometimes if you plug one in and it's slow to start, if you leave it plugged in, it will eventually start, but you shouldn't do that because the fan motor will get hot. It could overheat, cause problems. But as an example of what we're talking about, if you look at this fan, you can see the blades in there. Now this fan is turned on, but obviously it's not plugged in. So when I plug it in, you should be able to see the fan blades either not turn or start real slow. Now I know you can't hardly see it, but that fan blade is turning, but it's really, really slow. And I don't have the screws in the front cover, so I'm going to take the front cover off. Never do this with something plugged in, but I'm doing this as an example. If you look, the fan blade is starting to turn. See how it's trying to turn on its own? If you let it sit there a little bit, it will eventually start running on its own and it'll come up to speed. That's what we're going to talk about fixing today. Um, it's an easy fix and that's one of the problems we're going to fix. Now I'm going to unplug this thing because I got another problem I want to show you. Now this little fan, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it or not, but this one makes noise. I got obviously the cover of this one's loose too. But on this one, if I plug it in, it starts okay. There we go. It starts okay, but you hear the noise? Now listen when I unplug it. Some of that noise is just not good. And it's not wanting to do it right now, but sometimes I can get a little squealing noise out of the motor. Uh, both of these problems are caused by the motor just needing lubrication. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today, is how to lubricate these motors to cure these problems so these fans will last a lot longer for you. Now we're going to start with this fan, and what causes this problem is the bearings in the motor get dry, and they just need lubrication. That's all they need, just a little small drop of oil. Now in this fan, I've already taken the screws out of the cover, so the front cover will come off very easily. Now these fan blades quite often are difficult to get off, but they're just a pressure fit onto the shaft. Sometimes you can just grab them, wiggle them, and pull, and they'll come off. Um, I've had this one off several times, so I was able to get it off. A lot of times you have to get something behind here and prise a little bit to get those fan blades off because they are pretty tight. But it's usually just a pressure fit. Uh, just be careful that when you're prising on it, you don't break your fan blade. And once you get the fan blade off, this is the shaft of the motor, and right there is the bearing. That's the bearing that needs lubrication. Now you want some machine oil. Uh, some kind of light machine oil, like a 3-in-1 oil or something. Uh, I recommend you do not use something like WD-40. It would probably work, but a lightweight machine oil is better for these motors. And you just take and put a little drop right there, and then you turn the motor. Turn it some in both directions, and you'll feel it start to loosen up some. But you've also got a bearing in the back that you've got to lubricate. Now on some fans, you can get to the bearing in the back through the cover. Uh, in this one, I've got some vents, but they're not sufficient to get in there to lubricate that motor on the back. So we're going to take the motor out. Uh, there's two screws. There's one here and there's one there. I've already got them loose, so they'll, they'll come out pretty easy. Uh, there we go. And then the motor will come out. Now, sometimes they're more difficult to get out. A lot of times there's other things maybe you got to get out of your way. But you take the motor out, and then right here is the rear bearing. Put a real small drop of oil on that bearing as well. Doesn't take much. Just a very small drop of oil there. And again, spin your bearing, turn in the shaft, turn it some in both directions. And you'll feel that motor start to free up. It won't be as difficult to turn as it was when you started. Because all that motor needed was a little bit of lubrication. Now we're going to put our motor back in here. We're going to bolt it back down. We're going to put this thing back together. And then we're going to demonstrate how it works now. Now this fan, 
it's significantly smaller and here again I've already taken the screws out of the cover uh, fan blade same way this pressure fit uh, when I first took this off I had to get a screwdriver behind it to prise on it but like I said if you have to do that most of the time you will just don't price too hard because you don't want to break your fan blade uh, now I've already taken this out same as the other one I mean the motor looks almost identical there's a screw here and a screw here I take those out and the motor comes out and I put just a small drop of oil in this bearing, a small drop of oil on the rear bearing. Turn it some by hand. I could feel it free up as I turn it by hand. I put everything back together. And now we're going to demonstrate the two fans. Now we have lubricated both of these fans. And they're both working much better. Uh, this one you should be able to see the fan blades. And watch how it starts when I plug it in. I plug it in the right way. See how it starts right off? And now what I want you to notice, and I didn't make a good point about this to start with, but when I unplug it, and there it's unplugged, watch how it goes to a stop and how long it takes it to stop. That's the way a fan motor should come to a stop. Uh, it should coast like that. And this one is working well now because of that little two very small drops of oil we put in it. And if you remember this one, it was making a lot of noise. When I plug it in now, it starts right off. Sometimes it's slow to start, but it would start. Uh, but it's not making the noise that we had before. Just two very small drops of oil. I plug it in. I know you can't see the blades very well, but uh, or maybe not at all, but they kind of coast to a stop as well. Also, you can tell from when you put your hand in front of it, I know you can't tell, but the fans are running a lot faster now than they did before as well. Um, so that's all it takes to fix these little fans that don't want to start or they start real slow. It's just a real small drop of oil in two different places. You just got to Take them apart to get to it, put it on there, put them back together, and you're good to go. Saves you a lot of money. Saves you from possibly buying a new fan. Uh, you certainly don't want to leave one plugged in if it doesn't start, because it could be a fire hazard, because it would get too hot. Um, but anyway, that's what do-it-yourself with Wayne is all about. It's teaching you how to do things yourself to save you money. And we really appreciate you visiting. We'd uh, like it if you'd subscribe to our channel so you can see our future videos and like this one. And we hope you have a great day.